Cysts in the jaws are a very common occurrence when compared to any other parts of the body, as the cysts are varied types of classifications given by various scientists. And this can also be very helpful to divide each cyst based on its origin and its clinical presentation. The classification that we are going to be using in this presentation is the Shears classification, which is divided into three types. Number one is the cysts of the jaws. Number two is cysts associated with the maxillary antrum. Number three, cysts of the soft tissues of the face, neck and the mouth. So the cyst of the jaws comprise of the epithelial and the non-epithelial cysts. The epithelial cysts can be divided into developmental or inflammatory. The developmental can also be subdivided into odontogenic or non-odontogenic cysts. The odontogenic cysts comprise of number one, the calcifying odontogenic cyst, number two, the dentigerous cyst, number three, lateral periodontal cyst, number four, odontogenic cysts, number five, odontogenic keratocyst, number six, periapical cyst, and number seven, an eruption cyst. The non-odontogenic cysts include number one, the nasopalatine duct cyst, number two, the median palatine cyst, number three, the median alveolar cyst, number four, the median mandibular cyst, number five, the globular maxillary cyst, and number six, the nasolabial or the nasoalveolar cyst. The inflammatory cyst comprises of the radicular cyst and also the residual cyst. The cysts in the non-epithelial component include the solitary bone cyst and the aneurysmal bone cyst. Number two, when we're looking at the cysts of the maxillary antrum, these include the benign mucosal cyst and the surgical ciliated cyst of the maxilla. The soft tissue cysts include the epidermoid cyst, the brachial cleft cyst, the thyroglossal duct cyst, the anterior median lingual cyst, oral cysts with gastrointestinal epithelium, cystic hygroma, cyst of the salivary glands, parasitic cysts, and dermoid cysts. We also share with you a mnemonic that will help you able to remember the cysts of the jaws. Now you can use an acronym called legal doctor OK and Mr. Gents Band and these will allow you to remember most of the major classification of cysts of the jaw and head and neck region. Well I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't already subscribed then please kindly subscribe to our channel and we'll be bringing you more videos in the future. Thank you very much for your time and for listening. See you again soon. Bye.